um, in fashion and in... Hello and welcome to The Professional. The Professional is a channel I started with the idea of lifting the veil on the realities of working in the fashion industry from the point of view of the people in the background. Those real professionals whose names you probably don't know, but they are the people that truly make things happen at every level and every facet of this big business that is fashion nowadays. This is the first sit down interview I'm doing with the very, very talented Matthias Winkler. Our conversation was very, very dense, covering lots of topics that I think could be interesting both to those already working in the industry or those hoping to get into it. So I've decided to split it into sections and I will drop those as short videos over the next few days. And for those who want to hear the full conversation, a longer video will follow. I'm smiling because you do sound very optimistic and I was just thinking about your aesthetic, which I suppose was quite dark to begin with. At the with. beginning, yeah. And now, uh, if I'm allowed to reveal the name of your latest collection, In the Shadow of Trees, it's actually yeah. a lot lighter, there's a lot of colour and um, the images are set in nature and there's a lot of light as well yeah. so i find that very interesting i think you know where i'm coming from um is kind of this avant-garde fashion because this is kind of this niche fashion that is more kind of you know artistic inspired kind of uh, smaller quantities on a smaller mm -hmm. scale and uh, i think lately the recent years it has been very craft inspired you know mm -hmm. like looking back on really well-made things so and you know it was very often black black fashion dark fashion however you want to call it but um you know that is a certain this is kind of where i started from but i have to you know everybody has to move on has to evolve and this is uh what i'm doing as well i'm exploring color <clears throat> yeah i mean we all have to or we I think we, we don't have to, but I like to mm -hmm. I like to evolve and I like to make uh, different things. So, yes, I'm st I'm I'm still full of hope. You know, not mm -hmm. always. It's hard to stay hopeful. I think that's for everybody a, a challenge. But uh, being pessimistic doesn't help. <laughs> so um, yes, uh, the new collection is called um, in the sh the shadows uh, shadows of trees oh, just shadows. shadows of trees shadows but this is of course it's also it's also a hint to uh, climate change in a way because um, we are we know trees are important trees are our friends yeah <laughs> we love <laughs> I have trees a, yes i have a thing for trees I it's maybe trees. it's maybe a bit um, cheesy or romantic <laughs> or um, but we know it's um, i mean Trees are get get cut everywhere, and uh, and people kind of uh, there's still this huge like two hundred year old trees that get mm -hmm. cut somewhere, and it just this 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 has to end. We and mm -hmm. this is a, this title is just a symbol of how that trees can protect us if if the world gets hotter, if everything, uh, um, you know, if the climate if temperature is just rising, the shadows of trees. Is, uh, are going to be important for us, you know, literally and also kind of uh, as a um, metaphor. And um, so that's what. So poetic with the ears. Well, I have my I have my moments. Yeah, Who this knew? is <laughs> yes. But you know, I'm every day on my way to work. I live in Berlin, so I'm biking through a very kind of nice. You know, Berlin is full of trees, uh, at least the area where I am, and uh, it's very green. So you, I'm I'm like. I'm cycling there with my with my bike under the trees and I'm kind of, I don't know it's a very I think this collection is very personal and very mm. literal as well that I'm just um I see them every day on my way to work and so it was just like you know you're thinking about what are you inspired by and it was mm. just like it's a very direct approach it's these trees that I see mm. every day uh, they cut a lot of trees down uh, this year as well I think you know where you're facing like certain types of trees are dying mm -hmm. and uh, they have to cut them down of course you know it's all about of course they need to be very careful with the trees kind of falling on people and so on um, I understand that 
you know, the first video I posted on the channel was very much about uh, inspiration and how you use a theme to build your inspiration. And um, I find it quite uh, funny when you speak about how personal this collection is and uh, my graduation collection was very much inspired by me cycling through London and all these textures that I <laughs> yes. saw on the true, way. True, so true, true, you don't true, have yes. to dig far and deep yeah. <laughs> necessarily. That, that's, that's, that's true. And uh, I think, you know, for me, the first, uh, the first years, of course, you, you need to be kind of more aware of what, what what your brand is about what is the dna what do you want to portray i'm a bit i think people now at least the people uh, that that you know buy my shoes or that are kind of uh, following me or or like uh, who like my work they they kind of know what i'm about and then they also understand or not so subtle approach of a, of a topic. They mm -hmm. understand that what I'm trying to do, you know, where the first years you, you, you need to create this, this world and you need to make clear for people who like you. Uh, you need to also see that you reach the people and you need to set the tone and you need to tell a story. I mean, I'm still telling a story with this, but uh, it's maybe not as complex. It's a very kind of, you know, it's just like, shadows of trees i mean it's not it's 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 it's, it's not a complex uh, theme it's wow. kind of it, it is a direct message in a way i think it um, has a lot of names i think so too but you know one could say maybe it's a bit romantic cheesy or something but um ah, romantic is never a bad thing i think it's underrated <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> a huge thank you to matthias and thank you for listening now keep up the good work and goodbye